The way I be thinking is some different, some different, nigga. The way they be hating is some different, some different. Some different I swear. Don't compare with them lames, I'm some different. Like I'm some different, I'm some different, I'm some different, I'm some different, I'm some different. Now I don't roll with these niggas, roll, I smoke some different. I'm some different. See that little mommy that's right beside me, she's some different. She's some different. Might whip the front shit, then tomorrow I'm in some different. I'm some different. Cause I'm some different. They know I'm some different. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Coach Davis, and all up. Good to see y'all. I'm saying, I try to be as consistent as I call in this app and all that. Um, it's a lot going on right now, life, life, and all that. But as a man, bro, <laughs> all we could do is put pain in, bro. I'm gonna tell you that right now, bro. Like, you know, like. Ain't no, ain't no better feeling. Like, one thing about it, bro, is like, you don't wanna, just look, right? It's mental when you could've made mistakes or made decisions that you ain't really proud of. And you can sit there, come to the gym, and be like, hitting your sets. Locked in, even when it's not convenient to do that like that, that does a lot for you mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gritty out here, bro. Like, I'm keeping the buck with y'all. Like, if y'all don't realize that it's wolves out here, that like, when y'all don't know how to maneuver, or like, you need approval, you need to talk to motherfuckers you ooh, like you can't just sit in your own discomfort be quiet do it not look like you your vibe is off and like that make you that make you different bro like people think oh what people respect is like when you somebody that is not out here making mistakes is somebody that got it figured out stick it to that for me like i'm gonna keep it a bugger to us because for me right like i'm a person that's highly misunderstood but like i've learned to embrace it accept it like it just make me focus on my own world now because you'll start to realize when you get to a certain point in your life, like, it's nothing you could really do to, like, make somebody 100% fully understand you and why you do what you do, whatever the fuck is, like, we all out here, like, ghost breakpoint, like, it's a map, it's a bunch of missions that you gotta complete, like, everybody got their own, so, like, in reality, there's no such thing as somebody being in the same frequency as you doing the same miss that you gotta do yourself. Like, the most you can really do for somebody is like, support them. Know what I'm saying? But you, you never gonna really 100% like be able to feel what that person felt or nothing like that, but. What do help you be able to see is is discipline and resilience like that's one thing for me that like give me x-ray vision out here and just protect me from the snakes in the grass and the and the wolves out here and the energy vampires and shit like that like you know what i'm saying when you put that pain in when you're resilient and you're not consistent but you're still fighting to get to that point where like you might have your ups and your downs, but you still trying to even out the seesaw. You don't just accept shit being uneven or define yourself off. Because like it go the same way when you doing good. Like it don't matter what you did yesterday. It don't matter what you did last month. It don't even matter what you did today because at the end of the day, you're just as good as what you can keep doing keeping up with it on a consistent basis and 
not feeling like, you know, not having that, that chip on your shoulder where it's more just like, it's what I do type vibe. Like it's a difference. Like if you know, you know, like it's a difference between like doing something and then feeling good about it. But it's more about getting it complete and being like, man, it's like, it's what I do for real. Like, I mean, this is who I am. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the gym is just, you gotta become that shit. You gotta embody this shit. It's not about adding it to your routine. Like, you gotta really become this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's deeper. Like at the end of the day, as fellas, we gotta accept that we got responsibility out here. Like, as providers, as protectors, and like, no matter how draining the lifestyle may be to conquer those two things, you know, you still gotta do what the fuck you gotta do, right? And accepting that, going about that in a certain type of way mentally on a daily basis, like, you become exactly what it is that you're looking to become out of. Like, and that's how you do it. Like, when you on the right track and it's fucking tough, that's a good thing. Because like you build an aura, you gain an aura points. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day in football, you could be a good running back, right? But at the end of the day, it's gonna be a time where you come off that, that draw and he hands you up the football and you try to shake and do all that shit you could do that you go to the gym and practice to do, but that defensive end might come off that line off the off the left tackle and and knock you down. Now it's third and fifteen. But you known and you put in the work and people expect more of you, but and then let's say it was second and fifteen. Let's say now the next play, they trust you again, it's like, oh. You get through, but now it's second and nine. So you only really gain one yard. But to stay resilient enough to be like, hey, Amy, it's what I do for real. Like, that's what make you different out here. For me, like, really understand what I mean by that. Like, that's what make you different. Like, like me personally, like, I used to be in a certain type of mindset where like, I was looking for like, yo, it's a lot of pain because of my life and shit. When is this shit gonna get like, when am I gonna feel love and feel good? And I was getting to the point where it's like, I embrace my pain, I embrace my trauma and my scars. Cause like, that's the shit that keep me in check. And that's that reminder that I need. It's that alarm clock. It's that fire that I can always, it's like a lighter. All I gotta do is for me, I could go right to that every time. And it's like a lighter. All right, babe, you know what we doing. You know what we gotta do. You know? And because of how I choose to work through using, you know, my sit as a reminder, it is molding me and helping me shed and build up you know, aura in the way that I'm looking to do that. So that's one thing I definitely want y'all to keep in mind. You know, it's a few things that I could say in this video. You know, there's a lot going on on the net. You know, me and my wife, you know, went public with some things that we shouldn't have went public with. We was going through some marriage shit. You know, we newly married, we young, we on a spiritual journey, we human, we raw, like, end of the day like you know what I'm saying I appreciate all y'all support I'm not proud of you know the things that I've been coming to realize it's about about myself that I gotta work through and that's what it's all about like at the end of the day like I said that's what I do like I'm all about if, you know when I get those those downloads and those realizations I'm all about embracing people's opinions you know if I was on this app to like, for me, 
Like, if I was on this app to be a certain type of image, I knew that that would take away from... Like, at the end of the day, you you are what you stand for. So, like, I'm also just proud of myself that, like, what I stand for in this app, put myself out there when I was homeless and all that, facing myself, putting on my flaws and shit, but, like, I'm just getting to the point where it's like, I don't really care to tell y'all as soon as I deviate and fuck up no more because it's like, what is that gonna, what are y'all gonna gain from that? This is not about that. What it's about is that you gonna come to my page and I know how to get through to you, you know, in a, in a type of way that like the average motherfucker in my lane can't really do for real. So I just, I don't feel like I'm better than motherfuckers. I just doing my job for real and that's what it's about you know i want to get my hindsight downloads work through it and talk to y'all about things in hindsight so there's no like i love y'all we're going to chop it up about things that need to be spoken about but it's going to be spoken about and brought up in a way where like people can actually gain from that we're not just sitting here talking about this and the third like because i know y'all can sit here and say yo i'm here for y'all i'm here for you like you know, you stood for some and you put yourself out there for us. So like, we want to be here for you too. And it's like, I, I did ask appreciate that for the ones that, that genuinely mean that. But at the end of the day, I'm on this app for y'all more than I am, you know, for myself. But one thing I do gain for self on this app is mainly just like coming on here with my raw self where like, I could look back at this video and like, yo, this is a moment for me. Like I was really in my, raw vibe and not trying to do no internet weirdo shit and like I feel like because of that intent that I put out on this app like that shit really helped me like shed you know on some snake shit like shed certain skin on a consistent basis how snakes do in a way where it's like I feel like even on my worst day I'm still like ahead of a lot of people that's average because like the way I go about my journey is so tactical for real, like, that I'm realizing too, and it's, it, it, you know what I'm saying, it do a lot for me for real. Order, bro, it's shit. You know what I'm saying? I did ass appreciate my wife, and I got a lot of respect for her, bro. Like, at the end of the day, we spoke, and it's like, I appreciate her, because, like, at the end of the day, we know how this shit goes, men, like, with this being a provider and protector, like, I'm all about you know, having to be a hustler out here, working people. Let me tell y'all something, bro. Dealing with some racist shit at work. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with shit. The military ain't easy. Like, finding out certain motherfuckers in my... I ain't trying to say too much for real, but like... Almost crashed out on a sergeant because like... He said some crazy racist shit that I never dealt with before. Like, I've never been around no real white racist motherfuckers. So like, almost ripped his fucking face off and like I had to check myself as like I ain't no coward because he we was same size but like he really a little bigger than me because like he looked waste and shit so like I ain't no bully I wouldn't have pressed him like that if he was some little probably would have just told him to shut the fuck up and made him scared but like you know what I'm saying but long story short like that just recently happened and like my mental just like been a little off just trying to still adapt to the military being misunderstood the culture shock like well, you know what I'm saying? People feel that her aura and I feel like they put me in a certain type of box. But like they would have understanding for like a war vet that was in Iraq that bodies and killed people and been around just murder and death and all that shit his whole life. I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But like, you gotta understand, like he been through a lot, but like, I just feel like I don't get that same I'm saying understanding because like people just look at the hood in a certain way where it's like I can sit here and say like y'all been around murders and death and kill and like all type of nasty ass grimy shit like literally my entire life bro like <laughs> I'm saying like and that shit is being in a in a war environment where like I was born in a in a gang that I ain't had no choice but to really stand on, you know what I'm saying? Born to have to, like if I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
real like block warfare going on where I'm from, like where you can't even like be a human being to just stroll your neighborhood because like you can't go to certain area, you can't even go down the street this way because like the ops is outside, it's mad tension. You with your family, you just always on edge. Like that's I was my whole life, bro. So like couldn't even go up the street to, to the burger spot because like Mitchell's is up there. Like my block was Mitchell's K and like all this other bullshit. And like you just sometimes like. You in the weird mindset because like, you feel like motherfuckers could see you got Mar Haven or like your block tattooed on your forehead. Motherfuckers looking at you with a certain vibe where it's like they trying to read your aura like, yo, he moving like he ain't from over there. Like he might be, I'll be, and then it's like, yeah, bro, I'm saying? Like, so like, I don't know, fam. Like, like I said, wifey and shit, like, I don't know, sometimes I hope I just could get to that point where, like, not to just be more understood, but just more so just, like, I don't know, I'm trying my best to communicate it and shit. I appreciate y'all for listening, for real. It's like, I ain't really good with the communication shit, for real. But, um, I don't know, I just hope that I could, it could get to a point where, like, I mean, it's starting to make more and more sense for me because I just feel like what's happening that I'm realizing that hopefully you could take from this is, like, when you don't bitch out, when you don't let your circumstances define you, the mistakes that you make define you, because like, I'd have been out here career doing some straight dumb shit, crashing out, getting drunk, fucking with hoes and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, or spending mad bread, because I'm knowing I could just make that shit right back, but like, I, I sometimes try to give myself the benefit of the doubt, because like, I never got a chance to live my, experience like that because like I was always just like broke and homeless and just like fucked up out here for real so like you know what I'm saying I apologize to like wifey that she had to you know what I'm saying it's, it's just like I was I've been doing a lot of shit that like I just don't understand I never understood like the detriment to what I was doing it for real and like how it, I was actually affecting people and like just my aura and even just like what I used to stand for like on, on this app when like I would just be on that drama shit, I'd be on that, that bullshit, but like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, on that negativity shit. And like, I just appreciate people, you know, appreciating me and shit like that, because that's the shit that keep me going and that's the shit that I appreciate. And that's, I just appreciate real raw shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, for those that saw my wife live, you know, I'm sorry you had to see that because that's just drama, that's just straight shit that just like, people don't need to be seeing and all that because that shit personal and like, me and her working through that and I, I really appreciate, you know, her um, understanding and her just like, deep love that she has for me because like, she know the type of person I am, how hard I go for like, aura, life, spirituality, just downloads, right intent and just growing and flowing and being resilient and shit like that and good karma and accountability and affirmations and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like or like I'm thankful I'm in a position where like I could have been making the mistakes I've been making and like be able to bounce back and have people that's gonna rock with me through everything and all that and to to be able to just get to that point, but like, I just really had some downloads today where I realized like, it really do count for something when you don't give up and you could be having the baddest day ever and then you just in the gym angry as hell, but like you just hitting mad sets. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, Bob ain't good, but like you just working, you working through that shit and you training that shit out in a, in a healthy way, you know, working that shit out. That shit, that shit dead ass do count for something because like it may, it had took a minute for me to get to that point but like it finally just like, I right, that, like that shit really do count for something because like now it's like it finally got to that point where I could see that like that shit was really the way to go about that shit for real when like when you stuck in certain vibes and you just like, yo, like this shit is whack. Really, you gotta you gotta work on yourself. You gotta work on yourself. You gotta hit the reverse button. That's that's what that shit do for real.
when you could go to the gym and then you could see a good ass pump and get that dopamine rush it's just like you know what i'm saying where you do your sets like i just did 200 dips uh 200 pull-ups and 200 leg raises had to take a break off legs because i was having some funny shit happening to my joints and my in my knee because like i've been hitting squats for three weeks straight um 200 plus going crazy so like when you could hit your sets and like you could have been having a bad day and you know what that do you make a mistake or like it make your, your aura feel weird feel like you lost points on aura you kind of feeling like regretful and just in a certain vibe like the gym is really the only place that you could go to like reverse that feeling and like you can hit your sets and whatever you do and then be able to look in the mirror and be like all right you know what I'm saying like all right like here we go like and really just be proud really just know like it's gonna get better for real and know like that's just what we gotta do out here as fellas man like just just put that pain in um get them downloads face yourself vibe out still try to find goodness in life don't be on no sad ass shit depressed ass shit just feeling sorry for yourself it's like that's just what that is bro and then like subconsciously you start looking for like feeling entitled that somebody's supposed to like oh nobody cared or why if like i was to try to call somebody motherfuckers wouldn't try to beat it bro just accept it life is, is life and that's it make you stronger when you accept it for what it is instead of trying to be like but why it ain't but nigga let it go and accept it for what it actually is and stop asking but why is it that way nigga just accept it at the end of the day, it is draining to be around somebody that's out here fucking up and then want people to like sit there and like refuel them with motivation and like good vibes. Like people don't, like if you get it, appreciate it. But still at the end of the day, never feel entitled to that shit no matter who it is, no matter what, how, none of that nigga. And I, and I live my life that way. And sometimes I may come off a certain type of way to people because like, like my wife, she's like, yo, this is my job, this is what I'm here for. But it's like, I just, you know, when she do it, I appreciate it, but I never want her to feel like that I ever expect anything from her, bro. Cause like, that's just not, you know what I'm saying? But like, at the end of the day, bro, it's, I'm thankful to be able to have somebody like her in my corner. But like, I be eating like shit in the army, bro. And like, I don't like eating like this. And to know, I, I, I gotta show a lot more respect for her because like at the end of the day, bro, like like they say, respect the person, that, the people that cook your food, bro. And like, she gonna be putting shit in my body that's gonna have my aura on some other shit, bro. Like, I could finally eat the way that I know that I'm supposed to be eating for real. And just after I'm in my vibe and doing what I gotta do in the army, and you know I'm saying, like, being that provider and that protector, going hard in the gym no matter how long work hours is and going hard and, you know, just being that person where it's like, yo, at the end of the day, I gotta be a man where it's like, Ain't nobody gonna ever think that they could ever cross their mind or like you could ever play with me and mine. Cause like uh, you gonna see that like I'm not one of them, and you would really get hurt. You know what I'm saying? And I have to always be prepared for that. Where like I could, you know what I'm saying? Be that word, be that protector. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm. I really want to go special forces and range and just completely master gunnery and just like my job and my craft and the infantry the infantry get rough bro it's taxing it acts for a lot out of you and sometimes it it take away from your personal life and your family life but it's like it's done a lot for me i've been making a lot of good changes i've been doing shit that like i've been sleeping on the floor for like the past like five months straight because i know the benefits of it just like i feel like it's been having my aura in a whole another level because like you know if you for those that know like if you don't know the bed is not really good for your body. Like it, it weakened like your body in a certain type of way. Like I forgot how to really explain it right now, but just like I did my homework and like, you know, when she moving, we about to like get like some little one inch like type of mattress, but like we gonna be sleeping on the floor. You know what I'm saying just like building more aura. But yeah, like to just have that to look forward to where like I'm drained for the day and I done did my provider protective shit and like, I'm coming home to somebody that's in a vibe. Like, this is what they do because, like, she's a woman and, like, I'm going to come home and instantly, as soon as I walk in that door, just feel recharged. And to have that is, like, something to not take for granted, bro. No matter how rough shit get, no matter the emotions and all that shit at the end of the day, bro, you know, you got to be able to look past shit on some mature shit. And that's I'm trying to level up mature-wise and be able to see, like, certain shit so I can keep on for me. Or, bro, like... 
yeah, I could have been managing money better out here. I could have been, um, you know, I could have respected my marriage a lot more out here. I could have respected myself a lot more out here. Um, and what I stand for, what I'm, you know, uh, uh, striving to be. But at the end of the day, giving up and trying to turn my back to it was like, oh, like, I'm not the man I'm supposed to be. Who am I to say I'm supposed to be a leader? So let me just, like, get up off here. Like, I was, I, I said that on the community post, like, I was going to get off here. And then somebody in the community post was like, yo, like, how you going to just up and leave, bro? Like, you stopped me from offering myself. And then, like, I seen, like, 20 people like that comment and shit. I'm just like, yo, damn, like. At the end of the day, like my my purpose, like I got a purpose on it. And at the end of the day, life gonna always life. And if I still gotta like, you know, step outside with my chest poked out, my chin up and handle business so that I don't end up being broke and homeless. Like what's the purpose of me like not working through this shit for my people and the people that love me and for the future people that's gonna fuck me on this app and like just continuing to like just, you know, just do what I do. And that's what it's really about, you know what I'm saying? And um, I appreciate y'all support. Um, for those that disappointed me in me, you know, if you know, you know, for those that disappointed in me, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, gonna, we gonna get better, man. I'm a growing flow and I'm gonna stay resilient and things gonna get better, 100%. And, wow, like, for the ops out there, for the people that, just that always I could feel this disgust in my aura, just people that I know for a fact is just always praying on your downfall. I hope I hope that you find peace, man, because I know it ain't personal. Sometimes I had to fight myself on that, just like, where I feel like people just like got this personal vendetta out against me, but like they just want to see me, just like, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it could feel like that sometimes, but in reality, I know it ain't personal, and I know it's just like you don't understand that you got work to do within yourself to cleanse your energy and cleanse your aura because your aura is, you have no fucking aura moving like that, bro. And it's like, that's why I stay always focused on trying to build them respect points within myself and build that aura. You know what I'm saying? It's like at the end of the day, respect is earned, respect ain't given. And it's one of the most beautiful feelings to, to feel though when you feel like people just like inevitably respect you when you walk in the room and when you around and just like, you know what I'm saying? something to take pride in and um yeah like, it's felt good to do this like just try to chop it up with y'all so i'm gonna try to do this a little bit more often um but i love y'all and i appreciate the people that appreciate me and look forward to you know to some raw content per usual you know what i'm saying because that's what i do love y'all wish y'all the best out here man for real because like it's rough out here but it get easier when you just like you know, turn off shit and just go autopilot, bro. And that's one thing that the army helped me with. That's one thing just staying resilient helped me with. Cause you gotta know how to go autopilot. You gotta stop thinking before you do all the time. Sometimes like you gotta just like turn that shit off and just like, even for the sets, like let's say for example, I hit my pull-ups and that shit burning. Walk it off a little bit, shake my shit out. And it's like, all right, bet hit your dips. Don't, don't think though, just do that shit. Don't think about how I feel. And then like, once you could zone out like that, bro, you could get so much more shit done, bro. And I've been, just enjoying that vibe, I'm saying, being able to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm still trying to conquer my lust. Um, you know what I'm saying? Still trying to conquer myself on the journey. That's all, no fap. I ain't been perfect on that shit either. And that's a damn fucking shame, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, bro, like, I wish y'all the best because this shit ain't easy out here. And especially when you're going hard and you building testosterone and you just um, feeling that appreciation for the female aura, for the female essence, and what a female could bring for you to the table on all aspects. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you you start to, you know, go down a rabbit hole of like that vibe, but like it could, you know what I'm saying? Like be a, a liar, you know, it could turn into some shit that is not good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and then it just don't make sense either, because like, why are you going that deep? Like. You know, for example, like if wifey got videos that she making to me and it's like I could be in the middle of watching that video deviating, but like now I go from that and then I start typing up shit because like I'm in that vibe and then like I start just wanting to see just like more shit and then like when you try to explain it just don't make sense and then even after the fact you don't even know how to make it make sense for real and then like you gotta work through that shit though. 
and understand that you may not have the answers now for the shit that you're doing that may not make sense it may have made sense a little bit in a moment but not necessarily because you ain't really giving no thought nine out of ten times the things you just do you know um that you ain't really giving no thought um sometimes those usually be the things that have you in a sort of type of laws confusion type of trying to figure it the fuck out and find yourself type of vibe so just try to be careful out here and um just understand and have the the vibe of like the bigger picture where it's like eventually you're gonna figure it the fuck out but just you know take them steps every day and do the shit that you know is gonna help build that aura um and just stay resilient out here because that shit count for something bro it means something daily just you know staying consistent and just having something that you can fall back on where you just feel me like don't 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 let go of the gym don't let go of your, your physical fitness don't forget that your body is a temple and that you know that mental sharpness coming to gym and come from just like really being locked in locked in and just you know getting that dopamine and that reward system from just getting better one percent every day and having that patience for yourself and having that belief in yourself you know what i'm saying but i'm be out though peace and love i'll let y'all soon that working